number 12 suppose that f is a differentiable function again see here it is clearly they given f is a differentiable function nothing but it is continuous also with the property that it satisfying the condition f of x plus y is equal to f of x plus f of y plus x y and limit h tends to 0 1 by h f of h value they given as 3 then what is the function which satisfies this condition that's it we need to find the function value so what shall we do here shall we verify the options so almost to second third fourth they given a quadratic expression the so first option alone linear function they mentioned whether is it satisfied like a linear function satisfy this property or else any quadratic expression let's see then how to do this one okay it is again uh, simple only so first uh, what shall we do here f of x plus y they given so uh, what is f of 0 value here f of 0 substitute x is equal to 0 and uh, y is equal to 0 otherwise here they given a limit h tends to 0 condition I am going to take f dash of x f dash of x is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h this is the formula for the derivative of a function okay fine in that see here f of x plus y what is the condition they given one condition f of x plus y is equal to fx f y plus x y fx plus f y x y right with help of this how can we write here so f dash of x is clearly equal to limit h tends to 0 right shall i write here f of x plus f of h plus x into h i applied the property here yes for here okay students right for this i applied this property then uh, minus f of x as it is all divided by h if you observe that f of x f of x get cancel then remaining value is limit h tends to 0 here f h plus x h f of h by h i want to write the limit h tends to 0 x h by h i want to write then this value clearly they given what about this value limit h tends to 0 1 by h f of h by h value is 3 substitute 3 here here 3 plus here look at here h h get cancelled with respect to h tends to 0 x is a constant and we get 3 plus x so this is f dash of x okay students when f dash of x value is 3 plus x is there then what is f of x you are expecting here means actually here we have to do integration to get f of x f of x is given by integral of f dash of x okay derivative integral get cancelled i think you have some idea about uh, integration yes or no in physics uh, you are doing with help of integration you are solving some problems yes sir so the inverse process of differentiation is called integration that we will discuss very briefly in next chapters the next chapter after applications of derivative integration alone so when i integration here when i integrate here 
we add we must add one constant here when I f of x is given by integral f dash of x dx is equal to integral 3 plus x into dx plus c like that so f of x is equal to what student the function 3 can be written as 3 into x x becomes x square by 2 because plus c as is it. because integral x formula x power n is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 will derive the formulas also right this is okay this is the function let's see here which of the following function 3x plus x square 3x plus x square by 2 here x only x square is there so what is the answer we are expecting here 3x plus x square by 2 third of but here see here constant is there here one constant is there then uh, how can you find the constant here c value also you should find right so f of 0 when it's up to 0 3 into 0 plus okay like a 0 by 2 is 0 let's see c is equal to f of 0 what is f of 0 square that is the reason i said first year we have to find given function like uh, here, substitute 0 directly. When I substitute 0 here, x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. So final f of 0 is equal to f of 0 plus f of 0 will get. So 2 into f of 0, on f of 0, f of 0 get cancelled. Direct f of 0 value is 0. Yes, sir, f of 0 value is 0. So nothing but when f of 0 value is 0, c value also 0. This c value is 0 substitute here. Nothing but the required option is the required answer is 3x plus square by 2. The required option is third option. C value is obviously 0. Right? Once again, to find c value, c is equal to f of 0, we got it. f of 0 value is 0 with help of given condition, right? Next. Having any doubts, you can ask. Next question. Thirteen question. F of x plus y by 2 is equal to f of x plus f of y all divided by 2 for every x plus 2. Here, what about this? Uh, f of 0 value is 1, they given. What is this student in your books? I think so. This is, I think, uh, f dash of 0. Yes, f of 0 already they given as 1. Let us see what is this value. Okay? It might be f dash of 0 because we need to find uh, uh, the. Is it we need to find f dash of 2 or f of 2? Anyhow, let's see that. Okay, ma. Uh, here, question is: What is the condition they given? F of x by two plus y by two. Shall I write like this? Is equal to f of x by two plus f of y by two. Nothing but it is in the form of f of x plus y is equal to f of x plus f of y. Okay, yes. Just now I have written here f of x plus y is equal to f of x plus f of y is satisfied by f of x is equal to kx. Am I right, students? f of x is equal to kx or any kx or kx plus c, kx plus px plus q, ax plus b, whatever the way you can take. So in this question, in this question, I am going to take the function f of x as px plus px plus q. And okay, f of 0 value they given now. 1, I want to substitute 0 directly. p into 0 plus q. f of 0, 1 already given. p into 0, q value is 1. Okay, got it. One value is we go. So then, we want to find 
even q value is 1 we want to find p also if we want to find f of 2 in the question they are asking f of 2 to find f of 2 we should know p and q q already we got f of 2 is 1 for that how can you find p for, for that i think so this is f dash of 0 let's see when i differentiate this f of x it will become f dash of x is equal to p into 1 p into 1 p into x derivative 1 plus q q is a constant derivative here i differentiated this f of x so okay fine so when i take here 0 f dash of 0 is equal to p what is f dash of 0 value when i consider as minus 1 when i consider as minus 1 so minus 1 is equal to p so finally p value is minus 1 this both the values substitute here substitute here when i substitute p and q here f of x becomes f of x becomes p value is what minus 1 minus x plus 1 what is f of 2 then substitute in place of x2 minus 2 plus 1 this is equal to minus 1 so f of 2 value is minus 1 okay f of 2 value is minus 1 once you check the is there any minus 1 yes fourth option minus 1 is it right option spin Yes, fourth option. So you can change that. This is f dash of zero in the given question. You can make a change here f dash of zero. This is f of two value. We need to find yes. Right, first you can identify this condition is related. Which of the functions satisfying given condition? That's is very very important. And uh, question number 14. 14 is f of x is differentiable function such that f of x plus y by 1 minus x y is equal to f of x plus f of y. Again, if you see this, did you get any uh, idea? It is in the form of getting any idea about this. When I change here, like uh, f s t inverse t inverse yes or no what is the formula for tan inverse x plus tan inverse y tan inverse of x plus y by x minus y yes or no ok students right uh, now, since we know that here, 14th question, question number 14, we know that tan inverse of tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y by 1 minus x y. Okay, ma. So here, when I compare here, shall I cancel this as f of x, f of y? So what is f of x? Then we can easily consider the function f of x as tan inverse x, tan inverse x. And also they given limit extends to it. Maybe tan inverse x means of k times of tan inverse x k tan inverse x like that your wish k tan inverse x i want it in. okay even though we'll get uh, same so your limit extends to zero f of x so k tan inverse x all divided by f of x by x is by x is equal to clearly they given 1 by 3 all of you understood limit extends to 0 f of x by x is 1 by 3 then what is f dash of 1 
what is f dash of 1 okay now uh here can you tell me your your k is a constant take it outside limit extends to 0 tan inverse x by x is equal to 1 by 3 so what about this value what is the limit h tends to 0 tan inverse x by x 1 1 so the k value is what k is equal to 1 by 3 k into 1 is equal to 1 by 3 k is equal to 1 by 3 okay so after this already we got the function as f of x is equal to uh, we are taking the function as k into tan inverse x k value already we got it so 1 by 3 times of tan inverse x but in the question they are asking f dash of 1 so we get, we got the error f of x differentiate now differentiate now 1 by 3 what is tan inverse x derivative 1 by 1 plus x square am i right this is f dash of x but we required we required f dash of 1 substitute in place of x1 1 by 3 into 1 by 1 plus 1 square this is equal to 1 by 3 times of 1 by 2 that is 1 by 6 so f dash of 1 is 1 by 6. Once again, what I have done here? Okay. So I comparing given condition with tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus x y. I compared here. It is in the form of like this. So f of x, I am taking some k times of tan inverse x. We don't know. The coefficient of tan inverse x is maybe 1, 2, 3, maybe negative, maybe positive. But they given one condition, limit x tends to 0, f of x by x is equal to 1 by 3. I substituted f of x here. Uh, I found k value. Again, I replaced here. So 1 by 3 tan inverse x, we got it. The, now differentiate. Uh, then substitute x value as 1. We'll get the answer. That's all. Simple. OK. All need student try to attend OBT classes, then you can practice everyone, J as well as need student, you can practice R D Sharma problems. Okay. So more than R D Sharma problems is there in our Master G. If you understand these concepts, you can easily do that R D Sharma problem. Addition of problems also very, very important. Before that, uh, you must be practice all NCRT. So if lockdown is continue like this, generally, in board mostly 90 to 95%, 90% of the question coming from NCRT. Only 10 to 15 question percentage question coming from are remaining like Hardy Sharma, like that. But anyhow, if you practice that, you'll get complete idea about the concept. Excellent. Then Question number 15, uh, like see again, uh, see uh, they given one condition f of x by y is equal to f of x minus f of y. Then now, uh, what is the function satisfy that condition? Log a by x. Right, f of x is equal to take log x. So f of x by y is equal to a by b is equal to log a minus log b. Okay, function we got it. Because whether, uh, log x or k log x you may get doubts but for that one condition is given f of k is equal to 1 okay so log e log e value 1 or not yes so f of x is equal to log x alone correct because clearly f of e log e 
it satisfy the condition log x satisfy the given condition so that log x is correct otherwise we should take k into log x k into log x okay fine we got the uh, function then question which of the following is true now f of x is bounded f of x is x into f of x tends to 1 x f dash of x what is the derivative of log x amma log x derivative 1 by x that's it fourth option is correct easier as x tends to remaining option sir surely wrong even you can check it is it bounded bounded means what is the log infinity infinity it is not a bounded when uh, x tends to 0 plus is x into f of x is x into log x value is tends to 1 no substitute here limit x tends to 0 by x will be there x x get cancel log 0 undefined but they given tends to 1 no wrong so remaining three options are wrong this is directly derivative is f1 by x right next sir yeah sir what is bounded sir bounded means it should be having a maximum value finite maximum value okay sir finite max but the log when x tends to infinity f of x log becomes infinity it is not a finite value okay sir right next question number 16 okay uh, so here question number 16 is differentiable clearly they given differentiable for what value of a and b it will be differentiable okay here one advantage is there in this question to find a comma b first see students uh it is continuous every differentiable continuous only no continuous nothing but when i substitute one here in place of x both must be equal both must be equal okay when i substitute x is equal to 1 what is uh, left hand number left hand lh left hand continuity means lesser than substitute one here one is equal to substitute right hand greater than one means one substitute in place of x so a plus sin inverse 1 plus b see student see uh, every differentiable function is continuous here they do not asking any f dash of 1 f dash of 2 f dash of 3 simply for what values of a and b it is differentiable means it is also continuous first i am taking continuity just i am verifying the a and b okay for what value of a comma b both will be equal amma anyone 1 and minus 1 okay 1 and minus 1 means first option is wrong if minus 1 minus 1 means sin 0 it should be equal to no right first option is wrong second option a is equal to 1 so 1 plus sin inverse of 1 minus 1 okay sin inverse of what is sin inverse 0 sin inverse zero for what value of theta it will be zero zero sin inverse zero is zero so one is equal to one so second option is is correct option is it clear otherwise you can differentiate here so if you can apply the continuity condition differentiate you will get b value then after substitute here it b value will get a value instead of doing why don't you do directly it's better okay with help of continuity we'll get one equation in place of a, uh, in terms of a and b like this so when you differentiate it will becomes one a is 0 sin over 1 by root over 1 minus uh, x plus b the whole square from this you are going to get b value directly b value substitute here you will get a value that is lengthy again unnecessarily we are doing differentiation do directly like this next question number 17 so like function given here and first option is continuous for every finitely many values of k 
finitely many values means more than one one value of k it is continuous okay then let's see whether it is continuous or not for every value then is it continuous uh, for finitely many value of k when i uh, substitute here j1 substitute here one so here we are going to get uh, uh, zero is equal to k into minus one k into minus one so k is equal to zero but it is continuous at k is equal to zero we got it continuous right but let us see the second it is discontinued at x is equal to 1 x is equal to 1 it is clearly continuous when i substitute 1 here 1 oh sorry sorry here uh, when i substitute 1 directly what is our k into 0 am i right k into 0 means k is 0 by 0 so it is not a continuous discontinuous and let's see differentiable see when they given in the option differentiable option directly can go through the differentiable because you know if it is differentiable at obviously it is continuous no need to check continuous okay let us check first third condition it is differentiable only when k is equal to 2 differentiate here function when i differentiate here f dash of x will be left side is equal to right side x square minus 1 that is 2x x lesser than or equal to 1 k into here x is 1 1 is 0 so k x greater than 1 now after differentiating substitute 1 here substitute 1 here so left hand limit is 2 right hand limit is k when we can say it is differentiable among when we can say this is left hand derivative f dash of yes yes if when left hand derivative is equal to right hand derivative then only we can say differentiable when k is equal to 2 alone it is differentiable so third option is right it is differentiable when k is equal to 2 only when k is equal to 2 because we got directly k is equal to 2 are you going to get any other values of k no third option is right after differentiating when i equal k value directly we got it to at x is equal to 1 so it is clearly differentiable only x k is equal to that's all yeah question number 18 so what is question number 18 uh, let f of x is equal to x power n sine 1 by x 1 by x so uh, then f of x is continuous but not differentiable at x is equal to 0 if when it is continuous but not differentiable at x is equal to 0 so what to do here we have to write i want to find the uh, like uh, continue whenever they are given continuity why don't you e equate in that these two values substitute 0 when i substitute 0 So 0 into sin 1 by 0. Do you know what is sin 1 by 0? Sin infinity. Sin infinity is belongs to minus 1 to 1. Because sin maximum value plus 1, minimum value minus 1. Can you tell me what is sin infinity exactly? Anyone can say that what is sin infinity exactly? Do you know that? Yes. But you know, f of 0 value, they given 0. I am going to write this question. It's a easy, but uh, some logical question here. f of 0 value already 0, they given. And uh, when x is equal to 0, f of 0, 0. When x is not equal to 0, they given x power n sine 1 by x. x is not equal to 0. Means here again, we have to find left hand derivative, right hand derivative, but not equal to 0 means like when x is greater than 0, x is lesser than 0. Both the cases they define only one function. So here we can use the first formula limit 
x tends to 0, f of x is equal to f of 0. The limit x tends to 0, x for n sine 1 by x is equal to 0. Okay, can anyone tell that? For what value of n, it will be 0 because, you know, sine 1 by x value, x tends to 0 means either from right side, from left side, sine maximum value is 1, minimum value minus 1. It is a finite. Finally, sine 1 by x is finite. If I get here x power n as 0, 0 into finite value 0. But sine is having infinite value. 0 into infinite undefined. Anyhow, we don't want to check sine 1 by x. It is always finite. Just you can think about x power n. When x power n becomes 0, anyone? n is positive, n value is positive or n value is negative. n is uh, greater than 0 or n is lesser than 0 or n is equal to 0. Anyone? Three cases I have, I have written here x value 0 fix here 0 power n when when i substitute here uh, sorry limit value 0 so 0 power n sine 1 by 0 when it will becomes 0 when n value is positive or negative or equal to 0 when n is not equal to 0 Okay, n not equal to 0 is greater than or lesser than? Okay, 0 power 0 undefined so that it is not right. Then? Sir, greater than Both zero. If I take lesser than 0, let's see here. Lesser than 0 means, lesser than 0 means you can take any value, minus 1, minus 2, minus. Okay, I want to take minus 1. 0 power minus 1, 1 by 0, or 1 infinity is it equal to 0 no when n greater than 0 take n is equal to 1 2 3 4 anything 0 power anything will be 0 so here 0 into anything 0 so n must be greater than 0 okay uh, we found that n must be greater than 0 but what there are n greater than 0 means this is wrong this is wrong the answer might be a first option or second option. What is the correct option of my year? 8 is 1. Yes. Option 1. Option 1. See, we can't say by with the help of your uh, like continuity. With the help of continuity, we can't say directly. What shall we do here? We can we can use that uh, differentiation because clearly they're given it is a differentiable. Okay, I'm going to apply the differentiation. So what is uh, f dash of x? At zero limit, h tends to zero, or else x tends to zero. F of x minus f of zero by x minus zero. Substitute your limit x tends to 0 here x for n sine 1 by x f of 0 value is what 0 by x this is one of the property when i want to find here f dash of x here limit x tends to 0 here x for n by x shall i write x for n minus 1 sine 1 by x this is directly f dash of x value. Okay, when limit is exist, when limit is finite here, n minus 1, again, must be greater than 0. Yes or no? To exist the limit, if it is lesser than 0, again, infinity. Limit value should not be infinity. It should be finite. So, x power n minus 1, n minus 1, power must be greater than 0. Then limit is exist, it is finite. Then okay n is greater than one so from first condition from first step we eliminated two options third option and fourth option so option two is correct option two is absolutely right
okay question number 19 which is related to integration amma so just you can uh, remind me after integration concept this is again which is belongs to definite integration concept so after discussing integration we will discuss this next uh, uh, this question and all easy that uh, this is related to absolute function so what about the value of a and b such that the function defined clearly it is also differentiable they are given it is differentiable they are given what shall we do students here it is differentiable so differentiable means here modulus x lesser than 1 means minus 1 lesser than x lesser than 1 if greater than modulus x greater than or equal to means minus infinity to minus 1 closed union closed 1 to infinity this is the meaning of uh, modulus x greater than or equal to 1 lesser than 1 we can write like this and also it can be written as minus 1 comma we may write three ways these three ways i already explained okay it is uh, differentiable they given so differentiable means uh, right we can consider it as it is a uh, continuous also because every differentiable is continuous to find a comma b we require two equations if i take continuity substitute directly one year substitute directly one year what about the value a into one square okay it may be plus or minus one square is there it will be one alone uh, minus b is clearly equal to minus one so a minus b is equal to minus one this is one, one of the equation i want to know another equation so differentiate when i differentiate what is ax square to ax ax square to x b value is zero okay my year uh, one of the uh, like uh, one by modulus x is there it is in the form of one by x what is the derivative of one by x amma? anyone one by x derivative minus 1 by 1 by x derivative forget so here uh, okay No, no, actually, I plan to send the notes also. Will be gone. Okay, ma, after derivating, uh, like f dash of x is equal to, we are going to get ax square means 2ax minus 0. Here, 1 minus 1 by modulus x is modulus 1 by x is minus, minus 1, minus 1 by x square. 1 by x derivative, derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. Okay, here x is uh, modulus x is uh, lesser than 1, modulus x is greater than 1. Okay, students, here anyhow, minus to minus plus, substitute here, both the cases 1, here 2a, that is left hand derivative is equal to minus to minus plus 1 by 1 square. So, here 2a is equal to what amount? 2a is equal to 1, so a is equal to 1 by 2. We got a value is 1 by 2. This 1 by 2, you can substitute here. We got directly, we got uh, one answer. When I substitute x is equal to 1 in continuity, yeah, a minus b is equal to minus 1. We got. So a minus b is equal to minus 1. Substitute a value 1 by 2 minus b is equal to minus 1. So b is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1. That is nothing but 3 by 2. 1 by 2, 3 by 2. Any answer? 1 by 2, 3 by 2. Third option. With the help of whenever they given differentiable, with the help of continuity, we'll get one equation. With the help of differentiability, we get another equation. Both solve both the equation, we get a comma p values. Like that only. 
when they give an a comma b values we do like 